If you only get one thing from this video, I want you to remember this. The pathway to fulfillment is living in line with the person you wish to be and working towards something that's bigger than yourself. But if you stick around, you can also learn the truth about happiness, the difference between happiness and fulfillment, and how we all have fulfillment, just varying levels of it. Let's get into it. The truth about happiness. Happiness is a sexy concept and a sexy word. And we've been taught that the objective of living is to be happy. I used to buy into this narrative, but then I learned that happiness, like most things, is fleeting. The very act of always trying to be happy vilifies important emotions such as anger and sadness. Think of the suppression of our emotions like a knot in a hose and our negative emotions. They start to build up in the hose until eventually there's nowhere else for it to go and the hose starts to crack and starts to break down until one day everything just explodes. That's what it's like when we suppress our emotions and we don't deal with them right away. Now in her great book that I just finished reading called The Mountain Is You by Brianna Weiss, she talks about the concept between suppressing and controlling our emotions and it's a fine line between the two. And the way to just equip ourselves with the tools to deal with those emotions is to simply acknowledge them, let yourself validate them, let yourself feel them, and then you can control how you act from there. But suppressing them and pretending everything is okay just leads to your metaphorical hose exploding. The difference between happiness and fulfillment. A quick Google search revealed that happiness is choosing activities based on how happy these activities make us feel. Fulfillment, on the other hand, is focusing on these things that make our lives more significant and worthwhile. A video I referenced in last week's episode was Stan Peek's TED Talk, where he talks about how happiness is an inside job. And I wanted to build off of what he said and almost take it a step further in that happiness typically comes from external things. Like a shepherd, get your shepherd, Louis V. But fulfillment comes from intrinsic things. And intrinsic happiness is just a synonym for fulfillment. Happiness is a more self-centered act, one that's on seeking pleasure, which is not a bad thing, but it does lead to a mentality of never having enough. We always want more of it, but no amount of promotions, cars, concerts, pizza. Okay, maybe pizza, maybe pizza. Peace. I was busting. Can replace that indescribable feeling we get when we contribute to something bigger than ourselves. As humans, we have a built-in mode of acting which is called the immediacy effect. The immediacy effect states that people typically prefer an instant reward over attaining something of potentially more value in the future. The challenge with fulfillment is that it isn't always pleasurable in the moment, whereas things that bring us happiness typically are, they're typically fun. Let's say for instance you have the option between going out with your friends or staying in and working on the book's manuscript, trudging through that. From a pleasurable perspective, going out with your friends would win 11 times out of 10. But from a fulfillment perspective, perhaps staying in and working on that, despite how much you might need to work through it when you don't feel like it, it is the impact that you would have on thousands of people, the feeling that you'll get in the far future, that would make the decision to stay in a lot more worthwhile. Everything of course is good in moderation, but we just need to watch how much time we spend on pleasurable things versus how much time we contribute to the person we wish to become. Want some more examples? Happiness is going out to eat. Fulfillment is buying the person behind you their order. Happiness is attending a sporting event. Fulfillment is buying someone else tickets. Happiness is taking a sick day from work. Fulfillment is working on something meaningful when you don't feel like it. Happiness is eating pizza. Fulfillment is also eating pizza. I was busting. We all have fulfillment, just varying levels of it. A common misconception is that the more accomplished you are, the more fulfilled you'll be. But that's just simply not true. A prime example is myself and this YouTube channel. If you click into my profile, you'll see a relatively small number of subscribers. You'll see a bunch of videos that haven't gone viral, but I am more fulfilled than ever. And if I'm connecting with you, and even if just one person sees this and they become more fulfilled as a result, they act in line with the person they wish to be. I've succeeded. So if you're here watching, thank you so much. I really appreciate your viewership. It means the world to me and it's the reason I do these videos every single week. Fulfillment isn't a one size fits all approach. It's a one size fits one. It's unique to us all and if it makes sense to you, it doesn't need to make sense to anybody else. Take, for instance, the transformational story 
of the inspiring Tony Robbins. Now the man we know today, the guy, the motivational speaker, the coach who's influenced millions of people, he wasn't once that guy and he grew up very broke in California. Now one day he found himself in this all you can eat restaurant with literally less than $20 in his pocket. I'm gonna pop some tags, I only got $20 in my pocket. <laughs> and when he got up to leave, he saw this little boy who was holding the door for his mom, this little boy pulled out the chair for his mom, and Tony was inspired by this little man's generosity and his chivalrousness. Is that even a word? Chivalrousness? <laughs> Tony went up to the little boy and his mom and he said to the little guy, Hey, like, are you taking your lady out for lunch? And he's like, well, it's my mom. And no, I'm, I'm only 11. I don't have a job. And Tony's like, well, today you are. Today you're taking your mom out for lunch. And he reaches into his pocket, pulls out the remaining money that he has, and walks out of that restaurant with no money to his name. Now, whether you believe in fate or whether you don't, whether you believe in coincidences or not, when Tony got home later that night, he found in the mail a check for $1,000 plus interest from his buddy who he had lent money to before. Tony took this as a sign that because he acted in line with the person he wished to be, because he did the right thing, it was the way that the world was rewarding him for his kindness. So that was a transformational turning point for Tony Robbins. And somewhere in your life as well, there could be this big transformational moment. It might seem seemingly insignificant, and you never know. One day, that tiny moment, the tiny moment that Tony had where the little kid walked in could happen to you and your life could change forever. Thank you all so much for being here. My name is Sammy Paley. I hope you walk away from this video wanting to act in line with the person you wish to be, find something that's bigger than you and working towards that. And I'll see you all very soon. Thank you so much. Cheers. Come on, just do it. I'm already subscribed. Come on, I just, the video's already rolling. Please just unsubscribe and subscribe again. I, just, I don't want to be embarrassed. <laughs> oh yeah, can I get a hoya? Oh, yeah?